hope that our souls may find a better future. All right, guys, so man, oh, man, do I have a video for you guys today. I'm about to blow this zombie storyline wide open. So the first thing I noticed about Tank Dempsey's memories is he's talking about hopefully our souls can find a better tomorrow. And the way he says it, it sounds like he knows that they're all going to die. No matter what, he's going to die. And that makes me feel like the blood vials aren't meant for a backup plan. They're not meant to save the characters. Maybe Richtofen was lying about that. Or something like that but I think the blood vials are going to be used for something else other than actually saving our characters it's just the way tank says it we're all going to die now I know that there's this leak code that everyone's talking about where they found that in the DLC 4 they have the Margwa and there's also a model for a kid Takio and so a lot of people are talking about that I think that the kid Takio and all the kids and everything are just gonna be part of a cutscene I don't think they're actually gonna be playable but there are a lot of theories out there that were our 1.0 characters or at least their souls are going to be playable and so a lot of people are saying well maybe there's a cutscene where it shows our origin characters dying or something like that and we just start the map out as our 1.0 characters or maybe at some point we switch over to our 1.0 characters now I got a comment last night on one of my videos it's from Jackson the Beast he said can you help me explain the Dempsey memory trailer because I think that if they die their 1.0 character souls will finish their quest but I'm not too sure so I was thinking about this and I'm just like oh my god it's like giving me a headache I'm just thinking how is all this connected it's so crazy the storyline is so complicated how is it all connected I literally have been up all night trying to figure out how it all fits in and I think I might have stumbled onto something so all this got me thinking and it hit me like a ton of bricks the blood vials came from mob of the dead and it sounds like they're not meant to stop us from dying it sounds like they could have so another purpose you know they're meant for something else what else comes from mob of the dead afterlife uh -huh. see where I'm going with this what if we have to use the blood vials somehow to access the souls and we will be able to play as the 1.0 characters how crazy would that be we have to access our 1.0 souls in order to complete different steps of the easter egg that would be absolutely fucking insane and thank you so much jackson for leaving me this comment because it really got me thinking about all this and i think that that would that sounds like something treyarch would do we have all these hints to mob of the dead how it connects to our storyline and now we have these souls floating around so I really feel like there's a good chance we might get to play as our 1.0 character souls in some sort of afterlife mode. It would be absolutely insane. And this is an original theory. I haven't heard anybody else talk about this. So I really want you guys to spread the word. And let me know what you guys think about all this. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Is this a good theory? Is it, Do you guys think it's total shit? Please, please let me know. Because it took me a ton of time and a lot of work to kind of figure all this out. But as always, if you're new to our channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. It always helps out in future videos just like this one. And thank you for watching. I am the one and only Z. Bye-bye.